If you don't believe me that men do dumb shit and don't realize it, listen to them. Well, look at me. I am not the person who needs the third term. Just look at me. I don't need it. You thought I hit her in the head with a bat. Oh! Oh! Man, I was scared. I thought I was going to jail. Hey, I'm sorry. Get your plug back. It's not how I do business. It's not me. So I don't need your third term or whoever is saying it. I can continue to serve my country in different roles, in different ways. Rwanda is facing explosive allegations from the United Nations of committing war crimes and possibly even genocide in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Is that what you think? Huh? Is that it? A draft of the report states, quote, the majority of the victims were children, women, elderly people, and the sick. In my mind, I'm like, why are you running, baby? That, that's what I'm thinking, right? But I'm like, what do you do? I fuck around, go to jail. I got a little butt. I'll get raped. I know they'll fucking rape me in jail. I ain't trying to get raped. So I had to make a decision. I was like, shit, what do I do? So I decided to... Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame, announced his plans to run for a third term following the approval of constitutional changes. Kagame became president of Rwanda in 2000, but effectively held power since 1994 at the end of the country's genocide that same year. The reason why I can't tell big lies is because I'm one of those people that start to believe the lie. Like, once I get that ball rolling, I can't stop. Unfortunately, this issue of uh, third term or whatever people call it, I didn't ask for this thing at all. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I was actually trying to tell my people that, you know what? There is room you can find somebody else. Maybe you need to take a risk and look for somebody else. She was like, what? What are you talking about? You are saying you can't let me go. You want me to stay because, you know, whatever the results we have had in the past, maybe you need to take a risk with somebody else from the, you know. 35-year-old businesswoman has declared that she will be the one to defeat longtime ruler President Paul Kagame in elections in August. No, oh my God, no, please, don't. No, no, no don't do this to me, no. I am a Rwandan person living in Rwanda who has seen what is going on, who has heard what is going on, who has experienced a lot that our country, our government is doing that is not right. I believe I can speak for the people because the people who are in power, who are supposed to be representing us, to be working for us and speaking on our behalf, are not doing so. Now I can't be a piece of shit. I got to prove a point. I got to take them. But I'm telling you something, fellas, you look stupid when you try to keep your attitude and get a baby shit together. You look dumb. It was like uh, I was put in a cage. It's like that's what it is. And um, maybe well, it's, it's damned if we do, damned if we don't. So in, in the end, we had to make sounds a sounds like politics. But, yes. uh... You look dumb. So from experience, you look stupid. You know, I don't give a shit. I'll take it. Get the damn bag. What is your uh, campaign platform? What are you standing on? I am here to end poverty, to end injustice, and to end the lack of security in our country. I will not impose my views. There have been cases where other people who have um, decided to run um, for president in, in Rwanda have had serious problems, you know, with the government or serious problems with the law. Are you not afraid for yourself, your life, and your safety? For some reason, I'm not afraid, but I know the heavy price one pays for speaking out in, in my country, and that is why I'm running. Crazy, it's so good. All right.